Hi, I'm Matt Oakes, an Inkjet Innovation Specialist here at the Gill Hat Center in Webster, New York. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Brenva HD Production Inkjet Press. It represents a combination of Xerox's toner-based technology with inkjet run cost economics with the features and functions that you expect from Xerox in the production space. So I'm going to start by talking about the paper. For Brenva, the paper feeding is a direct lift from iGen. All the iGen shuttle vacuum assist and controls that are available on iGen come directly onto Brenva. This has two feeders in it. You can have up to four, which will give you eight unique pick points to deliver your paper from. As far as the specs of the paper, the sizes, the minimum is seven by 10 inches. The maximum is 14.33 by 20 and a half. The weight range goes from 60 GSM on the low end that's more for our transaction customers that may be looking for some postal benefits of a lighter paper. The 220 upper GSM spec addresses direct mailers who are looking more for nine point. You can have up to 20,000 sheets loaded into this system. The paper itself, this is inkjet, but we don't require inkjet treated paper. We can run on plain paper, which is a nice benefit in that typically if you run on plain paper with inkjet, your colors are muted, your paper may have some wrinkling, it may have some show through. That's not the case. We can run on plain paper because of the inks we use. The inks, magenta and yellow, cyan and black. These are pigmented, water-based inks, but there are HD high-density inks. They're pigmented, but they're designed with special additives to allow it to work well on low-cost, plain paper. They're five liters a piece. They're very easy to load and unload, and you can do it while you're printing so you keep your productivity up. There's also a container of washing fluid for the print heads themselves. It will automatically use that to rinse the heads, which speaks to the ease of use and low maintenance of this. There's very little that an operator has to do. Most of the cleaning is done automatically by the press. So if you're familiar with inkjet, this may look very different to you. We've taken out all that zero graphic equipment and put in some PCs to drive the heads, a single waste barrel that collects any purged into that rinse fluid, and then we have our four print head banks. Black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Each one having three Kyocera piezoelectric print heads in it stitched together at a 600 by 600 resolution with two bits, which will give you three different drop sizes. We're reusing the iGen paper path, which gives us all of the controls that comes with the iGen system. So there's sensing to make sure the paper is tracking correctly, there's no skew, you're getting good image on paper registration, and if there's any detection of the skew movement, it will correct for that automatically. And we're actually reusing the photoreceptor belt from iGen, but in this case, we've punched holes in it to use vacuum assist to hold the pages flat underneath our print area. As the prints come through, you also have, since these are individual marking components, you have the option to print monochrome only, which is nice in that your C, M, and Y heads will cap and only your black print head will engage to print. And right here is a full width array sensor, which is looking for artifacts when you're printing. It's a closed loop detection and correction system that's checking all the nozzles as this prints. Originally developed on our iGen platform to look at things that happen in toner inboard to outboard, non-uniformity, color drifts. We've reused that on our inkjet platform to look for inkjet related things. Each one of these has three print heads. A traditional issue in inkjet, when heads stitch together, you may see some artifacts in the overlap of those print heads. Xerox was aware of that, so we've actually included motors on top of these heads. So this scan bar, when it sees a stitch or roll problem, it will automatically adjust for that without having to come in as an operator, make any digital adjustments, make any hardware adjustments with an Allen wrench, it's all automated. Now that we've printed side one, we have to extract the remaining moisture out of that page. We do that through our drying, which we use a system of seven infrared lamps. It's a very small footprint, very efficient from a space perspective, also from an energy consumption perspective. Infrared has a very low energy usage, which is good because in inkjet, when you're drying your page, typically that's where you draw most of your electricity from. This drying area was designed by our engineers in Webster, who also designed Nuvera and iGen. While doing that, they also found that 
Well, you create all this heat from these infrared lamps. Let's actually recapture as much as we can within this drying unit so we're not requiring any external venting. Next up is our output module, which has duplex inverter for two-sided printing, which will send your prints back around to print side two through the same set of heads, check the image quality of side two, and dry side two. Then it will continue on down this path. There is a piece of equipment here that I'll come back to in a second, but I'm gonna pause and talk about the front end, which is Xerox FreeFlow print server. FreeFlow brings you object-oriented color management controls from iGen, which includes treating images different than text, different from graphics, giving you selections around there. It allows you to treat RGB objects differently from CMYK, in addition to gray objects separately, and then spot colors as well, where there's specific proprietary spot color color management handling that allows you to accurately dial in your Pantone colors if you don't like the default mapping. It lets you adjust your CMYK and you'll print a patch that shows you how close you are to that color. In addition to that, we have our cloud-based ink estimation tool where you will select your file, tell it how to pro process one of the eight preloaded profiles on FreeFlow, how you want your results. You can include your ink price if you want. You can include an electronic proof for viewing and then how you'd like to get your results, either emailed to you or put on an FTP server that's secure in the cloud and then submit your jobs. We know that these eight profiles won't cover every paper type though. There's lots of paper out there. You may have a recycled paper or maybe canary yellow where your reds don't look red anymore. They look a little orange. I don't like the profiles you have in FreeFlow. It's not a problem because we're reusing the inline spectrophotometer from iGen. It's a very easy process. All you have to do is load your paper in your feeders, tell your machine, program it, what paper you have in there, and then run a routine that just takes about five minutes. It will make you a brand new profile, load it back up on FreeFlow, and you can do your proofing, you can do your ink estimation with that new profile, full automation, high level of simplicity for anyone new to Inkjet and has those concerns about how do I manage and do this color process. You do not have to be a color expert to get the cost or quality on Brenba. So now that you've printed everything, you need to go to your finishing, which in this case, we start with the Xerox production stacker. This gives you a capacity of 5,800 sheets, and it's very nice in that when the stacker becomes full, this is going to deliver. It's going to raise up your sheets to a nice ergonomically safe height. You don't have to bend down to the floor to pick anything up. And as it's doing that, it's going to stack internally as well. So you're basically getting two stackers for the footprint of one. This is the initial offering. Once we're happy with this interface, you're going to have a gateway to a variety of third-party vendors for finishing, like CP Borg, GBC, Plockmatic, and Duplo. As you can see, the Brenva is the most advanced cut sheet inkjet press on the market. If you're interested in inkjet, you owe it to yourself to come take a look. Talk to your Xerox sales representative to begin that process.